Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to combine data. We can combine data either vertically, or horizontally. In a situation where observations are from a different source, the data needs to be combined vertically. On the other hand, when variables are from a different source, the data needs to be combined horizontally. In SAS, two methods of combining data vertically are, concatenating, and interleaving data. Concatenating data sets refers to, creating one single data set, by combining two or more data sets, one after another, by using one set statement. When concatenating data sets, SAS reads all the observations from the first data set, then continues to read all the observations from the second data set, and so on. The number of observations in the combined data set, is the sum of the observations from the input data sets. If the input data sets have different variables, the observations from a given data set are set to missing, for variables that only exist in other data sets. For example, the score variable only exists from the first data set, then in the combined data, the observations from the second data for the score variable, will be set to missing in the combined data set. This program concatenates record 1, and record 2 data sets. Since the length of the course in the first data set is 4, the length of the variable course is also 4, in the combined data set. Thus, English is truncated to ENGL. The information about truncation, is also shown in the SAS log. When common variables have different length, label, format, or in format attributes, SAS will use the attributes of this common variable from the first data set, and issue a warning message in the log. If common variables from different input data sets, have a different data type, SAS will stop processing, and issue an error message in the log. Since the variables grade and score are used separately, to record testing scores for English and math, we can rename one of the variables, by using the rename data set option. In the rename equals data set option, old name is the variable we want to rename, and new name is the newly given name of the variable. Program 7.2 utilizes the rename equals option, to rename grade to score in the record 2 data set. And the variable course is set to a length of 7, in the length statement. Another method to combine data sets vertically, is interleaving data sets, which utilizes by group processing, with the set statement. The number of observations in the resulting data set, is the sum of the observations, from all of the input data sets. The observations in the resulting data sets, are arranged by the values of the by variables. Within each by group, the order of the observation is arranged, by the order of the input data sets. Similar to concatenating data sets, if the input data sets have different variables, the observations from the data set, are set to missing, for variables that only exist in other data sets. Before interleaving data sets, the input data sets must be sorted by the same variables, that you use in the by statement. Program 7.3 begins with sorting record 1, and record 2 data sets by the name variable, then interleaves the sorted data sets, in the data step. Here's the printed result of the combined data. Now, let's talk about combining data horizontally. Combining data sets horizontally is needed, when variables come from different sources. There are several ways of combining data horizontally, such as one-to-one -one reading, one-to-one -one merging, match merging, and updating data sets. One-to-one -one reading utilizes multiple set statements, to combine observations from two, or more input data sets independently, forming one observation, that contains all of the variables, from each contributing data set. Observations are combined, based on their relative position, in each data set. The number of observations in the combined data set, is equal to the number of observations, in the smallest input data set. If the input data sets share common variables, only the values read in from the last data set are kept. Let's see how one-on-one -on -one reading works from this example. Notice that both name and course variables exist in both data. The first set statement starts reading the first observation, from record 1 data set first. Next, the second set statement reads the record 2 data set. Since the variables name and course, are also in the record 2 data set, the values of these two variables in the second data set, replace the values of these two variables, that are read from record 1. During the second iteration of the data step execution, the first set statement, copies the second observation from record 1. The second set statement, copies the second observation from record 2. 
Again, the values for name and course variables are from record 2, instead of record 1. During the third iteration of the data step, the first set statement, copies the third observation from record 1. The second set statement, copies the third observation from record 2. During the fourth iteration, the first set statement, copies the first observation from record 1. The second set statement, copies the fourth observation from record 2. After reading the last observation from record 1, SAS reaches the end of file marker. SAS stops the execution. A better use of 101 reading, is in a situation when an if statement is used, in conjunction with a set statement. For example, suppose that we would like to create a mean score variable, based on the mean value of the score variable. We can calculate the mean score first, then merge the calculated mean value, with the original data. Program 7.5 starts with calculating the mean score, by using PROC means, and storing the mean value, in the record 1 mean data set. In the next step, we can utilize 1 to 1 reading, to merge record 1, with the mean values from the score variable. The first set statement, reads in each observation from record 1 first. Then SAS uses an if statement, along with a second set statement, to obtain mean score, from the record 1 mean dataset. Using set and if statements together in this fashion, ensures that SAS will not encounter an end of file marker, that would abruptly terminate the data step. Therefore, the single mean score can be associated with each observation in record 1. Another method to combine data horizontally, is to use the one-to-one -one merging method, which uses the merge statement, without adding a by statement. The result from a one-to-one -one merging, is similar to what we get with one-to-one -one reading, except that, one-to-one -one merging processes all observations in all data sets, that are listed in the merge statement. Program 7.6 uses one-to-one -one merging, to combine record 1 and record 2. By using the one-to-one -one merging, the last record from record 2 data set, is also added to the final data. Match merging is the most common method, to combine data sets horizontally. It combines two or more SAS data sets, into a single observation, according to the values of one, or more common variables. The number of observations in the combined data set, equals the sum of the largest number of observations, in each by group, among all the input data sets. The data sets that are being combined through match merging, can be related by one-to-one, -one, one-to-many, or many-to-many -many matching, of the values of one or more variables. One-to-one -one matching refers to, a single observation in one data set, relating to a single observation from another, based on the value of one, or more common variables. One-to-many matching means, a single observation in one data set, is associated with multiple observations from another, based on the value of one, or more common variables. Many-to-many -many matching refers to, multiple observations from each input data set, can be related based on values of one, or more common variables. In the situation of many-to-many -many match merging, the merge statement does not produce a Cartesian product, on a many-to-many -many match merge. Let's see an example of how match merging works. Suppose that we are merging record 1 and record 2, by the name variable. Before performing the match merging, we need to make sure that these two data sets, are previously sorted by the name variable. To merge the sorted data sets, we need to use the merge statement, along with the by statement. During the data step execution phase, SAS determines which by group should be appearing first, in the output data set. The first by group is, when name equals Dave. There is only one observation for this by group. When the merge statement executes, both first.name and last.name, are set to 1 in the PDV. The first record, where name equals Dave, from record 2 sort, is copied to the PDV. SAS reaches the end of the data step. The implicit output copies the contents from PDV, to the output data. At the beginning of the second iteration of the data step, SAS has read all observations, in the current by group, from all data sets. At this point, SAS sets all variables in the PDV to missing, except for the automatic variables. Note that this rule is different from reading a SAS data set, by using the set statement. The second by group, is when the name variable equals Joe. There is only one observation in this by group as well. When the merge statement executes, first.name and last.name are set to 1. 
The second record, where name equals Joe from record 2 sort, is copied to the PDV. SAS reaches the end of the data step. The implicit output copies the contents from PDV to the output data. At the beginning of the third iteration of the data step, SAS has read all observations in the current by group from all data sets. SAS sets all variables in the PDV to missing, except for the automatic variables. The third by group is when the name variable equals John. For this by group, there are two observations in record one sort and one observation in record two sort. When the merge statement executes, first.name is set one because SAS will process the first observation in this by group. Last.name is set to zero. The first record, where name equals John from record one sort, is copied to the PDV. The third record, where name equals John from record two sort, is copied to the PDV. Note that course is not used as A by variable, but course is in both input data. Thus, the values read in from record two sort, replace the values read from record one sort. And English is truncated to ENGL with four bytes, because math precedes English in the input data. SAS reaches the end of the data step. The implicit output copies the contents from PDV to the output data. At the beginning of the fourth iteration of the data step, the variables in the PDV are retained, because we didn't finish reading all the observations, within this by group. When the merge statement executes, the first.name is set to zero, and last.name is set to one, since this is the last observation in this by group. SAS copies the second observation, where name equals John, from record 2 sort to the PDV. There is no record to read in record 2 sort. But the value of the grade variable from record 2 sort, from the previous iteration, is retained in the PDV. SAS reaches the end of the data step. The implicit output copies the contents from PDV, to the output data. At the beginning of the fifth iteration of the data step, SAS has read all observations in the current by group, from all data sets. SAS sets all variables in the PDV to missing, except for the automatic variables. The fourth by group, is when the name variable equals Mary. There is one observation in this by group, one from record one sort, and one from record two sort. When the merge statement executes, first.name and last.name are set to one. SAS copies the third observation, where name equals Mary, from record one sort to the PDV. Then SAS copies the fourth observation, where name equals Mary, from record two sort to the PDV. Again, the value from the course variable, is replaced with the new value from record two sort. The implicit output copies the contents from PDV, to the output data. At the beginning of the sixth iteration of the data step, SAS has read all observations in the current by group, from all data sets. SAS sets all variables in the PDV to missing, except for the automatic variables. The last by group, is when the name variable equals Tom. There is one observation in this by group, one from record one sort, and one from record two sort. When the merge statement executes, first.name and last.name are set to one. SAS copies the last observation, where name equals Tom, from record one sort to the PDV. Then it copies the last observation from record two to the PDV as well. This is the execution phase of the match merging. The number of records in the final merged data set, equals the sum of the largest number of records, in each by group among all the input data sets. The previous program was not a logical approach, to merge record 1 and record 2, because the course variable does not convey any meaningful information, for the combined data set. Program 7.8 is an improved version of program 7.7, .7, by utilizing the drop equals, and rename equals data set options. By default, SAS combines all the observations, from all the input data sets during a match merge. We can exclude any unmatched observations, by using the in equals data set option. The variable that is specified in the in equals data set option, is a temporary variable. It is not included in the output data set. The value of the variable is either 1 or 0. The variable equals 1, if the input data set contributes to the current observation in the PDV, otherwise, its value equals 0. Program 7.9 excludes the unmatched observations, that were read from record 1 sort, and record 2 sort. Two temporary variables, in record 1, and in record 2, 
are created by using the in equals data set option. In record 1 equaling 1, indicates the current observation in the PDV, is read from the record 1 sort data set. Similarly, in record 2 equaling 1, indicates the current observation in the PDV, is read from record 2 sort. A subsetting of statement is used to include observations, that are read from both record 1 sort, and record 2 sort data sets. The last method to combine data sets horizontally, is to use the update statement. We can use the update statement, to update a master data set, with a transaction data set. The master data set refers to the data set, that contains the original information. The transaction data set refers to the data set, that contains newly collected information. The update statement uses observations, from the transaction data set, to change the values of the matched observations, in the master data set. The number of observations in the resulting data set, is the sum of the number of the observations in the master data set, and the number of unmatched observations in the transaction data set. When the transaction data set contains duplicate values of the by variable, only the last values that are copied to the PDV, are written to the output data set. If the master data set contains duplicate values of the by variable, only the first observation in the master data set is updated, and SAS will write a warning message in the log. Updating data sets is like match merging with the merge statement. However, unlike using the merge statement, missing values in the transaction data set, do not replace the existing values in the master data set. Thus, if we would like to update only some observations, but not all observations of a specific variable, we can set the observations we do not want to change to missing, in the transaction data set. For example, some of the test scores in the record 2 sort data set, need to be modified. In this program, the transaction data set, record 3 sort, contains newly collected scores, that are stored in the grade variable. The program updates record 2 sort, with values from grade and record 3 sort. Notice that the values for grade for Joe and John, are missing in record 3 sort. Thus, in the final updated data set, the values for Joe and John are from the master data set, which is record 2 sort. Now, Let's re review what we've learned from this video. In this video, we learned how to combine data either vertically or horizontally. When observations of data are collected from different sources, we need to combine them vertically, including concatenating data, and interleaving data. When data variables are collected from different sources, we need to combine them horizontally. Depending on the situation, we can combine data horizontally by using one-to-one -one reading, one-to-one -one merging, match merging, and updating. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to get new video updates.